It's true. You can record sound and audio directly in Final Cut Pro. And here's how with my six step, no fuss process that's easy enough for beginners and still used by the pros. I'll show you how to correctly set up, including a mic setting that if you miss, will leave you with amateur audio. Stay until the end and I'll show you how to do multiple takes with one fast keyboard shortcut. Sound good? All right, the first thing you do when you record is you've got to prepare your room. Turn off any background noises that might make it into your recording, like heating and air conditioning, a TV or a radio. What's a radio? All right, next, you want to plug in your mic, make sure it's plugged in correctly and verify it on your computer. Press Command, Spacebar to open Spotlight and type Sound, and then open the system settings for sound. Click on Input and you'll see the different options you have. So I have this blue snowball and you can see it moving right here. So I'll make sure that's selected. My input is working, I'm good to go. Okay, so in Final Cut Pro, let's record a voiceover. Position the playhead where you want the recording to start, then go up to Window and select Record Voiceover, or use the shortcut Option Command 8. It opens up this Record Voiceover window. Here's how you start and stop the recording. This is your volume indicator, letting you know how loud it is. You can adjust how loud it is with this gain. If it's too loud, you can turn it down. If it's too low, turn it up. Let's see, can we go above 10? Nope, 10 is the most. You can name your voiceover right here. We'll put Dylan. And down here under advanced, we can select our input. Right now it's using this blue snowball mic and I can change it to anything else. Test one, two, test one, two. Let's go back to the snowball. All right, so I wanna try and fix that. It's pretty low. So I'll go back to my sounds and I can use this. Oh, it's already up as high as it'll go. You can use this input volume to change it. So this shows you how important it is to have the mic in the right spot. So my mic is actually about two feet out from me on my desk. Here it is. I really need to have it much closer, like right here to me. Luckily for this video, I have another mic right here in front of me. All right, so make sure you get your mic in the right spot. I can click right here to remove the clipping. That red indicated it went too high, but you wanna keep your mic in the green area. Once it gets over here, it'll turn kind of yellow and red and that's too high. All right, you can also monitor your recording. Right now it's off, so it's muting the audio while I'm recording. If I want to, I can listen to what I'm saying as I'm recording it by clicking on, and then I can adjust how loud that is with the gain. I can also have a countdown to record. It'll count down from three to give me time ready to start recording. I can also mute the project while recording. That means if there's any audio in the project, it will not play, which is really handy in preventing feedback loops. And I can also do auditions from takes. So I can do something over and over again until I get the take just right. Down here, I'll select which event I want my recording to stay in and what kind of role it is. For now, dialog is perfect. So you can click the record button to start the recording. So let's do that. It counts down. Hi, my name is Dylan and I love hating raisins. And when I'm done, I can press stop. Let's play it back. Hi, my name is Dylan and I love hating raisins. You can see it down here in the timeline and we can also find it in the browser. I'll right click on this and select reveal browser or shift F and here is our recording. Don't you just love the sound of your voice? If you're loving this video, will you please give it a thumbs up so other people will see it? Thanks, now I'm gonna show you how to do multiple takes. Put your playhead to the beginning and a quick keyboard shortcut to start recording using your previous settings is Option Shift A. It's going to automatically do the countdown and start recording. Hi, this is another recording. I can press spacebar to stop it. You'll notice that the playhead moved back to the beginning. That's so I can do multiple takes. I can click the record button for a new take or again, press Option Shift A to start a new recording. You'll do its countdown and I'll make one more recording. Hey, how's this recording? Is it better? And now you'll notice it didn't add a new clip down here. Instead, it made an audition clip, which contains each take that I've done. Let's do one more take. I'll press the record button and it will count down. Oh, I love cookies, but only with no raisins. And I'm gonna press shift option A to stop as well. All right, let's close the voiceover recorder and let's take a look at this audition clip. You can tell it's an audition clip because of this little spotlight symbol in the upper left corner. Select the clip and go up to clip, audition, and open. It will open up this little control here for us to select and preview our auditions. But first I wanna close that and show you a fast keyboard shortcut. Select the clip and just press Y and it will pop that up. You can click on the different takes and preview them. Select the take you wanna preview and press the space bar or 
Control, Command, Hi, Y. this is another go. recording. You can also use Spacebar to stop spacebar. and play the preview. Once you decide on the take you like, select it and click Done. Now that clip will use that take. If you're 100% sure that you like this take and you want to finalize it, go up to Clip, Audition, and select Finalize Audition, or press Option Shift Y. And it removes all the other takes and leaves the one you selected in the clip. Let's say you want to combine different parts from those takes. How do you do that? Select your audition and go up to Clip, Break Apart Clip Items, or press Shift Command G. And you'll see that it breaks it into the different takes. Now I can move this around and I can trim it and I can edit these pieces to create the most perfect voiceover ever known to mankind. All right, now that you know how to record audio directly into Final Cut Pro, you should check out my 12 rules on how to edit sound and audio in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out. It sounds awesome.